11 ways to piss off a Canadian, eh, huh? Well, one of them is to talk to them like this. Oh, I'd like to get the, uh, whatever. Even I can't even do a Canadian accent. That's fucked. I'd like to get some Canadian bacon, eh? That's not even close. I'm failing already. But all you guys know what the stereotypical Canadian voice sounds like, like that movie from Fargo. That's something like that. Anyways, on to start with this shit. 11 ways to piss off a Canadian. Let's start this. What do I look like wearing a scarf? I don't know. What? Every Canadian ever. Cool. This macchiato is good, man. It's like almost as good as what you could get in like a smaller American city, like Portland or Minneapolis. That's it's kind of cool you guys have like a mayor of a big major city who smokes crack now. Yeah, we have one of those Say a boot. What? I'll say who's it. Call me out of the house. Say a boot. Say a boot. Say a boot. Say a boot in the boot. I was in the boot. Boot in the boot. In the house in the boot. To give it a lie. When did you guys get iPhones? Do you guys have Childish Campaign out here? Hey, do you guys have the Wolf song yet? I just don't get it. Like, it's the biggest, most important city in the country. And no one else likes it. Everyone in Canada thinks Toronto is a garbage dump. No you, know you know what the bottom is? The bottom. Drink, yeah. The hucking Canadians don't have sweet dance moves like this. So show me how you dance, boy. So exactly how long ago did you guys stop being England's bitch? What are you looking for over there? National identity? Ryan Goffin's Canadian. Why does he look like Willard a big ass version of Canadian. Seth Rogen? Yeah. Seth Rogen's, Rogen's not Wait, funny Willard cousin. Canadian? The way I know Seth Rogen is I mean, not brother. Canadian Twin is brother. I'm Seth Rogen. Oh, he's talking about no Seth Rogen. Never mind. He's in the hall. They're from Canada. They're Chicago. It's Chicago. <laughs> How is the guy in charge? The guy that 70% of the country voted against. Why don't opposition parties just form a coalition, power share, and oust them? Can they do that? Is there, has there ever been like a talented comedian who didn't move to the States? Saying McGill is the Not heart really. of Canada is like saying Rush is the Rolling Stones of Canada. It's technically true, but also incredibly illustrative. Quebec oh, is great. Colin Quebec Barbary. is probably the best thing Wait, about he moved Canada. to America. Never mind. Fuck that shit. Ultimately, like, is that really the thing to hang your hat on? Do we really give a fuck about maple syrup? If maple syrup just disappeared forever, would your life be impacted in a serious way at all? I wish you disappeared forever. <laughs> on the real though, I love Canada. We got free healthcare. Yeah. It's quaint. Don't enjoy it. I'm not even trying to say this video is never going to go anywhere. It's just like a baby in the sky. <laughs> like, look at me in the eye. Say his country is garbage. <laughs> uh, piss off, Scott. We know Scott. We we all love Scott. Who the fuck is Scott? Anyways, yeah, the free healthcare, man. The free healthcare is always awesome. Y'all hear that? Some motherfuckers, like, been banging on the floor the whole day. Every day, because like I think he's building shit in the exact same goddamn spot. Every fucking day. I don't know when he's gonna stop. It's been ongoing for a year now. Anyways, take it easy, human nation. Bye.